cheap, cheap, cheap games. That, that, yeah, okay, that sounds alright. We'll do. We'll, we'll stick with that. Hello, 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 and as the little intro said, welcome to Cheap Games with Mr. Gill. Basically, I buy any game I can off Steam for under a dollar. Give it a quick play around and then score it out of five. This is Geonophile. Geonophile. I don't know what that means. I've never played this game before, so we're just going to jump straight into it. Settings. Is there any settings I should be aware of? Controls. Controls. I like controls. It's a mouse and it's a thing and it's a WSAD and that's all fantastic so we know what to do there. Let's go. Chapter 1. I have no idea what this game is about. I buy the games usually based on price and checking that they don't have nudity. Um, not because I don't want to show nudity on my channel. I'll get naked anytime you want. But because uh, it just doesn't interest me. <laughs> I don't want to play no nude hentai dating game that uh, really doesn't interest me whatsoever. To appreciate the beauty of a snowflake, it's necessary to stand out in the cold. Aristotle said that, did he? Didn't Aristotle grow up in Greece? Is there a lot of snow in Greece? I know there should be some snow, but is there a lot of snow where Aristotle was? Thanks, Aristotle. That's enough of that, thanks. Aristotle, Aristotle, there's a bugger for the bottle. I can't remember the rest of uh, here we are. Look at all those lovely lights. Is that like a... The, the, the buildings? This is a town? This is town? I don't like this town. I want to go down and look at the town. It's a lot of lights. Or is they just can't, wouldn't you? Oh, it's a little bit of a lag system here. And we walk so slow. Do we go up the mountain? Do we go down the mountain? And we all go... Oh, it's a lot of... How do we get across this? Can we open this? This might be one of those. F to interact. E. This might be one of those, and there's been a few of them, and I don't know what they do. I think they're, they're made probably for testing things. Oh, what's that up there? It's purple. But there's a purple one there. It's run away. What's this? What is it? What was the settings again? Was there in, an interactive thing? Reveal, so E or tab, or the mouse, or the mouse buttons. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can do that. We can do that. That's okay. So we've made that like that. That's cool. Oh, okay. So now it's showing us lots of things. There's a flower here. Can we get the flower? We got the flower. Yeah, so there's uh, quite a few of these, I guess they're called walking simulators. But I think they're designed, I think they're people testing out gaming stuff. I don't know, really, no. Not to be honest, but uh, there's quite a lot of these games around. Oh, it's got to be the gate, no? I don't think there's anywhere else to go. Can't jump. Can't interact. Do I have to get under? Now he walks even slower. Can he, if I can't jump, how do I climb the mountain? Uh, that's blocked off, even though it looks like it's cool. I want to see the houses. Okay, we can't jump off the mountain. I don't understand what we're meant to do. The music is starting to get on my nerves. Um, ah! Holy moly! White are the far off plains and white. And while Fading forests grow, the wind dies out along the height, and denser still snow, a gathering weight on roof and tree falls down scarce audibly. Okay. Did I just get like catapulted somewhere? Oh no, it smashed back down. Right. And it's open! Okay, okay, so I need to read the poems in order to move forward. That seems like a punishment. Uh, <laughs> that was a fine poem. I'm just not that much into poetry. 
Uh, I guess we get the flower and then read the poem. And we will see more nice space, even though it's incredibly hard and laggy. And obviously. Okay, so we need to get. Is it, can we go around the corner? This is a walking simulator, I'm pretty sure. A walking poetry simulator. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, I'm glad they never put poetry in Mario. Uh, yeah. I don't think I would have grown up playing games. Um, or maybe I would have grown up with a higher appreciation of poetry. You never know. Oh, this is. What's, is that glowing up there, or is that just me? Is that the sun? That's the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun. That's the sun. So these things work. The big glowing sun you see it every day. Um, we have to go around stuff. Whoa, this is a long walk. If I, if I have to go all the way around these mountains. Oh wait, is this a little stairway? This is a stairway. Oh, we can get through here. Awesomeness. Come on, let me get to that poetry. <laughs> poetry now. Uh, Nice trees. I like the trees. They look good. Oh. Now, I don't know if you've never uh, grown up around snow. I don't know if you've grown up around snow, but I've lived in Sweden for the last few years before moving back to Australia. And uh, this, this walking on this snow like that, it isn't. I don't like it. I don't like it. Your feet sink too much. It's hard work. It's hard work in your cars. Okay, it's very snowy now. I can barely see. What's this question mark? It's a, it's, okay, is everything behind. This hill. Oh, damn, I thought we were getting close. And the way the the kind of the screen blurs as you turn, I think this guy's drunk. I'm pretty sure. In, in fact, I'm I'm damn sure this guy's drunk. He's walking incredibly slow, and everything is blurry, and he's spouting poetry. So yeah, this is Drunken Simulator. Drunken Simulator 2019. Oh, actually, I don't know what year it came out. Okay, he's walking a bit faster now. Maybe he, oh, hello, look, we've got something. Hello, hello, hello. Press the button. Do I have to get the flower first? It seems a bit, uh, a little bit annoying. Do I have to get the flower to come back? I mean, it's not like it's hard. And they usually just put it like a meter away from the thing, so it doesn't seem massively necessary. <laughs> Holy moly! The road before me smooths and fills, the pace and all about, the fences dwindle and the hills are blotted slowly out, the naked trees and spectrum into the dim white sky. Sky, that doesn't rhyme. That doesn't rhyme at all. What sort of poetry is this? Thank you. Can we get in the house? It looks a bit cold. I think we should get in the house. Oh my god, I'm gonna be sick. Uh, was the house there before? Did I miss the house? Can we spray through this? Can I spray through, sir? Sir, sir, can I spray through? Sir. Oh, good god. Sun glare over there. Um, right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to leave this here. I think we've read too many, two pieces of poetry. That is two more pieces than I've read in the entire last 20 years of my life. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to score this a good. I'm going to score this actually about three, three and a half out of five. Nothing wrong with it. For people who like walking in poetry, this is going to be like the best game of the year. Um, yeah, it just seems a bit like, hmm, okay, walking poetry. And I don't like that I have to go get the little purple flower from one meter away and bring it back to this little thing. That's just nice crap. Anyway, catch you in the next one. See ya. Bye.